Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Did you hear that noise? But more importantly, do you think that Florida has no history? Well, think again. And here to prove that fact is Scott Eugen, pointing his finger historically at you. Where are we right now, Scott? We're at the Orlando County Regional History Center. It took a lot to remember That's that. a lot to say. It's a tongue But look at at these hallways. You're actually exiting the current day here in Florida, and you're entering the past, the history, the beginnings of Florida. It's my second channel, Daily Block Channel. It's the Daily Woo. Happy Tuesday, not only to you who are watching this, but once again, I'm joined by Scott Eugen. Yesterday he was hanging out with me and I forgot to promote your YouTube vlog. What is it? It's uh, You Can Do It. How do you spell that? Y-U-K-E-N, do it. All one word. All one word. He does vlogs also, so check that out. We're gonna keep this very, hopefully we're gonna keep this very quiet because there are other people in this fantastic museum near downtown Orlando that basically shares with you the past of Florida all the way up to the current day. So if you're a fan of theme parks, roadside attractions, and wonderful roadside goodness here in Central Florida, if you've ever been to Disney, Universal, from now back to the early 70s and before, I'm gonna show you some wonderful things that a lot of people do not realize exist in this awesome four-story old original courthouse in Orlando, Florida. We're starting on the fourth floor, and you can actually see they have these really awesome displays of what Florida looked like before people started putting up concrete jungles and buildings, theme parks, and other things. Whoa, there's a frog. I'm the snowy egret. I want to say hello to you. Hello, I'm the snowy egret. Hello. And look at me, I'm a manatee. It's so good to be here today. Here is that I what, go. Is that what a manatee sounds like? Yes. We have to keep it down. There are other people oh. in here. We do not want to disturb other people that are learning about history. You guys are learning about history. You're learning, well, is it raining? It's, apparently. They actually have the environment in here. Very well conceived and very well thought out. This place is awesome, and I'm not gonna lie, until Scott told me about it, I never knew this place actually existed. So if you're in Orlando, if you're near the theme parks in Kissimmee, Orlando area, come to downtown, find this place. It's the old courthouse right across from the library. It is awesome. I kind of roamed around a little bit, and I figured I really need to do a vlog here because this place is awesome. These fake trees that look so real, they inform you how a sinkhole is created. And here's a little area of the sinkhole. And it shows what a sinkhole does. Here's the sinkhole. Here's the foundations of the hole. A sinkhole will gobble up cars, speed limit signs, other cars. Look at this. Somebody was living in there. There's a swimming pool up there. This is specifically the one that's in Maitland. It's the famous one. Are you okay? Are you having a seizure? Yes, I'm <laughs> okay. This is the Maitland one. Here, yeah, this is the Maitland one. If you go out to Maitland, it's behind a place called Austin's. It's a public park now. They even focused on the travel channel. They said, You're actually, come and see us. I could, I, could, I could taste the fear in your dialogue right there. It's, it's so terrifying. terrifying about it. Have you ever seen Look at, speaking of terrifying, look at this. It's like a fist of dirt. It's either like a, it's a fist of dirt and mud. And it's gonna come and punch you. It's like, a, that's what a sinkhole does. You could just be you. sleeping in your bed or in your car Done. and then bam, here comes Mr. Sinkhole. So very cool information here on the fourth floor of this wonderful place. Let's do a little walk through, show you some of the wonderful things here is a mound Let's of shells. The beginning of all mound joy. Ah, that guy's got a lot of joy digging through that mound. I think he's putting on the mound. Could be. Oh my gosh, look at this snake. There's
there's a snake over here. There's a snake on the ground. Look at that. You know, you think since the snakes are so close to the lady who's making the, the clamshells for the bomb and joy, she would be more nervous. I guess that's why she's got the deer antlers as a form of primitive deflection. Something. Do you think deer antlers to a snake are the same as garlic to a vampire? I'm not going to say no, Could but be. I'm not going to say yes either, but I think that that's probable. Yeah. I think my assumption is correct. Yeah. That actually kind of looks like you. What, from like a long picture? Yeah, that right there looks like Scott Yukon carrying a bucket full of something. Doesn't that look like Scott Yukon? Very interesting. You decide, Scott Yukin and Scott Yukin. I'd have to have a loin cloth on. Here, stand right here. It's a striking resemblance. Okay, let's do it. Let's continue walking. job of severing your berries from her cherries. Very important to the whole tribe. Must a lot of people think berries and cherries are the same thing, but clearly they're not. Yeah, because she's, she's, she's been separating them. There's also some maize in there, some corn if you're American. Here we have Tom Green. Tom Green is actually appearing over the top of the boat. His bum is on the boat. His bum, that actually does look like Tom Green. It actually sue, does look. For I hear you. <laughs> what if Tom Green sent a cease and desist to the city of Orlando? For Not me. Marriage. I didn't create that. I just filmed it. Mm -hmm. But the museum, Tom Green came knocking on the door with a letter saying, no, 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 no. I don't want to be on a boat. They anymore. could just give him like bushy eyebrows and call him. Green Tom. You know what people should do? What? They should look up Tom Green on Twitter mm -hmm. and they should tweet him this video. Oh, and, 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 and say, put, to this say right look, here. Tom Green, your likeness is at this exact second of the vlog. Mm -hmm. Find Tom Green on Twitter. It's not probably hard. I'm sure probably he's, not. He's probably he's got a likely guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Find him on Twitter. Let's continue on. So now we're getting in from the era of back in the day when nothing really existed by people. It was except all... Except for the berries and the cherries. Except for the berries and the cherries. And now we're getting into what I like to call old school Florida. Really the, old school, like... Very. Old. We're talking OG. Oh. And oh. OG, look at this. Oh my! There's something there. What is so, that? It looks like it's a place where they would meld the either sugar cane or corn. And boy, oh boy, years of joy are coming to me right now as I plow this right down into it. Let me, let me show you. It's like an American Gladiator. Look out. Do, 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 are you reenacting the new do, Star Wars trailer? Is that, is that what happened? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure that's probably happening uh, in there. Okay. That end looks like it's about to fall apart, though. Well, that's kind of part of the, the whole look. It's the hilt of the There is actually an audio tour that you can do downstairs. It costs 10 or $12 to get in here, and let me tell you, it's well worth it. They can give you an audio tour, or you can just basically figure it out on your own. There are lots of recreation of times of old history of Florida. I don't think she likes the cut of your jib. She's like, doesn't even want to look at you. She's like, nah. nah. She is very, she's looking off to the right or to the left. I guess that would be her left. Right here. Is there something up there? Uh -huh. What are you looking at? What's she looking at? Well, maybe she's worried about the foundation of the building that she's in. She could be saying, whoever built this place definitely did not make a structurally sound mm -hmm. facade. But I don't know. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It's maybe. better than I could build. If you've ever seen me build anything, I used to have Lincoln Logs, <laughs> and I would put together things. They never withheld more than a week. Look at this. This is cool. This is a scale model of Fort Christmas. 
there actually is a Christmas Florida. Yes, Virginia. There is a Fort Christmas. And you know what's interesting? What? Fort Christmas in Christmas Florida was actually built on Christmas Day, 1837. Do you think there's a connection? I never knew that. I don't. Well, I that don't. is very <laughs> interesting. So we're going to wander around more of this. Oh, what is this, Scott? What is this little area? Uh, well, it says right there, what would you bring? And uh, it says that you have, you're moving to Central Florida. What do you need here? Remember, there's no groceries, not even home depots. So basically, in 1870, according to the sign, this is when you would have moved to Florida. What would you bring with you? You only have 100 and 1,050 pounds that you can bring, so. So you can only put 1,000 pounds, that's half a ton, well, you on your water, wagon. Which is 400 pounds, clothing, which is 75 pounds, ammo for your, for, you know, like Oregon Trail. That's 150 pounds. So the real question is, Scott, if you were moving to Florida in the year 1870, what would you choose to bring with you? Give me one moment, there's gotta be something in here. I got it right here, very necessary. Candy, it's dark, so, but if you could, it does say candy on it. Candy's very important to me. Here, get over here in this oh, little right light. here, it, it says candy. This is very important to me. This is the setup to this joke, and I'm gonna put it right here for all to see that this is the most important thing that you can get. It's true. So you have reached the goal of half of a ton, mm -hmm. But I wonder if the person sitting here, what if they were extremely overweight? Does that mean you have to remove the candy? Well, I would remove, remove the water. The you don't need water. You don't need water. water. When you got candy, Some you can candy all has sugar. water inside like of it. Like cactuses. That's why they call it candy. It's, it starts with the same thing. C-A is why they have the, the, the candy. The, the, the cactus. Seems legit. Let me show you something very interesting over here. You want to know what it was like to date someone back in the day? To court them, if you will? Well, one of the courtship rituals was actually taking taffy and stretching it back and forth between a female and a male. Kind of like, I don't know, like a weird love ritual. Look at this girl's face. He's another unsure man Look at as this well. guy's face. He's like, I don't know if I really want this. This is a first date. But as she says right here, courting, courting with cane candy and you love candy i love candy that's why so I brought you it. could actually replace could this, this guy. guy get out of here slick rick this is my lady now it's in, you know but so you would be pulling on the taffy candy i sure would and we would just we would have a great time it would be great and then i would take the water and dump it on the candy and the interesting thing is little does she know that not only are you pulling on the candy she's holding uh -huh. You're also pulling on her heartstrings. Oh. <laughs> that's how you, I've seen you operate, oh, yeah. and that's nice. how it's done. Oh, check this out over here. Why is there a hole in the side of the bed? Maybe the Pope was here, and he blessed it, and now it's holy. But um, oh. Actually, Scott, the reason there's a hole in that is they actually have a display because they used to fill the beds with Spanish moss and there's one other fun fact that you were telling me earlier about spanish moss correct yeah that's that's true this is what they used to line the bed it comes from trees in the trees there's things in it so when you say good night sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite when you're sleeping in your spanish moss bed and you start itching it's because there's triggers in the, in the that's spanish right, isn't it? moss that's and very interesting this is actually really comfortable i'm gonna go get my own spanish actually i think the spanish moss ends right here and then there's actually a, like a mattress here because it, I think it ends somewhere around here. But it's really comfortable. You can actually feel what Spanish moss would feel like to lay on. And speaking of other bugs, not only inside, but you also get mosquitoes. That's why there's a mosquito net here. So you would actually get un get inside get inside this oh, mosquito. Inside? Okay. Get yeah. inside the this mosquito is... net. The last thing I want you doing is getting some sort of malaria yeah. or something from because a mosquito inside a building. Then I die. There That'd you go. Terrible. Just stay there for the rest of the vlog. I'll Don't go only. We'll see, you, see you at the end. You can stay there as long as you can handle it. Actually, you can come along whenever you want. So that was a very interesting. Good to have Scott along because he's full of fun facts and figures that I might not know about. He shares them with me, I share them with you. What's that clanging? That's actually my glasses hanging here, hitting, hitting on the side of my wallet chain. Very interesting things all along here. 
little bit of history as far as cows and oxen. All kind of wonderful things out here. Yes, and this very wonderful out here today. Hello there. This is what I'd look like if I was one of those. I told you to stay over there. I wanted to be a cowboy. And, uh, <laughs> is that oh, what that boy. is, a cowboy? This is a yeehaw. This is where I, where I sweat out of. It just come out like holes. Wait, let me see that. Right here. It's got a hole in it. Yeah, a hole. It's almost like a funnel for your, you open your mouth. Oh. I could pour water in there and drip it in. I don't think this would hold too much, though, because there's holes it's all very around. Very holy. It. So you're sitting on, well, what is that? It looks like a seat for a horse. Saddle. A saddle. Saddle. And where did you get this? Where did this come from? It was right over there. It's I amazing know. that these vlogs are unedited. Yes. You were inside a, a, a mosquito net. Yes. And now... This magically appears on you. Yes. Where did you get this stuff? It was all there for the taking, so I can experience what it's like to live in the OG Florida, if you will. All right. Well, you just stay there, continue, just riding that saddle. Scott Eukin It's definitely a good addition to these vlogs. And what else is a good addition to these vlogs? The citrus industry. And Florida is known for its citrus industry, especially back in the day. It was one of the very major components that put together a lot of Florida. A lot of the big wigs in Florida back in the day were citrus industry guys, as depicted as their workers climbing up to get the oranges off the orange trees. Here would be the bags, Allen bag. Oh, there you are. I met some guy that looked very similar to you. In fact, I called him Scott. That's so basically, strange. the joke is not going to go anywhere. Basically, there's a guy that looks similar to you. Maybe your twin brother wearing Maybe. a cowboy hat over well, there. Well, it, was a, it didn't look like a cow. It looked, kind of looked like a, like, like a Oh, ranger. so you saw him too. Yeah, he was. I, or it was by. you. It was probably me. Okay, was I didn't see myself in the, the mirror. I'm talking to them now about the citrus industry. Oh, yeah. And the most fascinating thing about the citrus, citrus industry history were these citrus carts that actually had televisions inside of them. It was very so when you're picking the orange trees on your lunch break, you could watch the Andy Griffith Show, Bonanza. Bonanza. What were some other fantastic? Gun smoke. Gun smoke. Gun smoke. Any little house on the prairie. Course. All of those were good. And and then color TV came along in a very citrusy color because that's actually got a little citrus tone a little to keep up with the citrus goodness. So basically, we're going to leave this floor. We've, we've basically seen, whoa, there's another guy climbing here. Climbing here, picking an orange. So we're going to leave one area of the past that was over there, the old school, pre-people era of Florida. And then we have the original pioneers of the Sunshine State in here. And now we're going to go downstairs to the third floor, my favorite floor. Another interesting fact, they actually call this the grand staircase, just like in Titanic. It'd be really awesome, not only if Leonardo DiCaprio was here, but if Kate Winslet was here right now, that would just make this vlog insanely better. Ah. I, I, don't, I haven't seen this movie. Don't let go, Jack. Don't let go. Ah. Okay, so now, here's a quick little segue that has nothing to do with Florida history as far as theme park history, but this is very interesting. On the third floor is the original courthouse, and this is the original non-working courthouse clock. It's been stuck at 12.05 the entire hour. We've been in here. In fact, when we go inside the courtroom and come back out after a minute or two, you will notice that it's not going to have been moved from 12.05. It's stuck at 12.05. And this looks very similar to the clock tower from part three, when Doc Brown and Marty are in front of there and ZZ Top is there. Bow, 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 bow. Frisbee. Bow, 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 bow. Yes, Pie. very similar to that. That clock tower did not work because it was struck by light. Well, it was starting in the, in the third movie. They were just getting it ready. To That's right. The, You're correct. Yes, See, I'm very flabbergasted and confused. Well, there's a lot to but say. But that clock is not working. Yeah, just like the one in the first movie. Very. It was struck by 
Lightning. Whoa. Okay. It's time to go inside the public entrance. And this is the original Orlando, Florida courthouse. Prepare yourself for this. Shunk, gunk, 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 gunk. This is where all the magic happened. matters and like, you know, Mary. Has your life ever changed? And then you look back to that moment and you say, it was magical, whether it was good or bad. People's lives changed People's here. lives did change That's here. magical. It could be a very bad kind of magic or a good magic. Well, it depends on which side of the But this on. jury right here decided many, many people's fates. Do you think the judge had anything to do with it? The, like, ju <laughs> the judge might have had something yeah, I mean, to do with it. But it's, it's basically a vote of these 12 people. I've seen the movie 12 Angry Men. What happened? They eventually either convicted the guy or let him off. I can't remember. Oh my goodness. It's been a while. But one guy in 12 Angry Men swayed the other 11. So one guy can make a difference. And right now I'm only seeing one guy in this jury. You can so everything. you can persuade yourself. That's right. Because you're the only one there. The witness would be sitting here, the judge would be sitting there, and there is one person, Scott, whose life changed dramatically, and he actually signed his name right over here. This is going to blow your, your mind, my mind and my mind. Ma'am, children, you might not, children might not know who this is, but ma'am and children and adults, prepare yourself now for a signature of the one and only Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy. Scratched his name right there. He would have been sitting right here in this chair. You think they switched the chairs around or is this the exact? Could I be sitting in the chair of a Ted They're Bundy? He was tried in Florida, in Orlando, in this courthouse. He would have sat right here, staring at the judge, glaring over there at those 12 guys. Thankfully, you're not on that jury. Imagine seeing Ted Bundy's face staring at you going, no, 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 no. Imagine that. That would be a terrible day. Yes. They've actually incorporated this plastic protection device. That way, nobody messes up the signature, the carving of Ted Bundy. Look at that. You know what's even cooler, though? Are you familiar with Homestar Runner? I've, I remember that from back in the day. If you look on the wall, this is predating Homestar Runner. Like, Frog Door shows up right there on that mask. Frog Door! See the little green guy there? All you need is a little squiggly arm. Boom, it's Frog Door. Official, 100% confirmed. That's a serious throwback to early days of the internet. Yes. Homestar yes. Runner. That Home was what, 2003? Somewhere around there. Like Man, that's the old school. Runner. Does anyone even remember that? I that think, was funny stuff. Though. I think someone remembers that. Somebody. You I remember there. that. I remember it vaguely. If anybody else does, leave a comment. They know what Scott is talking about. Okay, now we're going to move into my favorite area. Courthouse is awesome. The little memento carved in by a serial killer <laughs> over there is pretty fantastic. Apparently a, a good looking guy. <laughs> Apparently, I mean, that's, that's kind of what The staircase thing. is awesome. This clock, which has not moved from 1205, see? I'm not kidding. It is not 1205. This is stuck at 1205. We're now going to go into an area called Building a Kingdom. Does anybody have any idea what Building a Kingdom could refer to, think about it, Central Florida, tourism, building a kingdom. I'm talking about Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom. In 1971, everything changed in Central Florida. Before that, there were some roadside attractions, but everything blew up into the stratosphere. People flocked down here. Orlando grew out of proportions, and it all started. 1971, October 1st, with Magic Kingdom. But first, let's take a look at some of the old tourism before Disney. Destination, Florida.
So if you're ever a fan of Florida tourism, this is the room for you because there is all, it's a mecca of goodness when it comes to old, awesome roadside attractions. All kind of videos, all kind of weird souvenirs, plates with a floor. Whoa! You can old timey railroad or not Jump railroad up on there. Oh, jump up on there. Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? Where are you? Like I'm gonna go down this dirt road. This is what it would probably look like if you were there. Let me give me this. Oh, I got it. It would be just be like already. It would look something like this. Like back in the view, we go on down the road. We just couldn't stop because they say that. These roads were paved with them, and you only got one pair of tires maybe one on your back. Well, there's me. What did I end up doing on this dirt road? How did I get here no, no, get on this way. dirt road? Crazy guy. Get out of here. Get out of here. To the orange factory and orange, the orange grove. Oranges were the big touristy draw before theme parks and roadside attractions came in. And after that industry started to subside, we started to get a lot of tourism. As far as places like this, Cypress Gardens. These are actually Cypress Garden skis. Cypress Gardens is closed. It's actually Lego land now, but there was a time when Cypress Gardens was a very popular tourist attraction. In fact, I've been there. I did a video there, one of my first videos. I tried getting in there before it became Legoland. A lot of these places I've actually been to, former roadside attractions that are all visited right in here. Look at these old postcards up here. She's looking like she's having a good time. Look at her. How, what, do you want to come to Florida? See that face? Hey, how you doing? All that coloring? Man. What are we doing up in North North Dakota? That picture is pre-Instagram. Yeah. They definitely know filters on that bad boy. Wigwam. Wigwam. Villa. Oh, look, this is a wigwam. Huh. I'm a teepee. I'm a wigwam. I'm a teepee. I'm a wigwam. What's the doctor? He said you're too tense. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a joke. That's a setup that's in the joke. Get it. Oh, we got some music in here. Wiki Wachi Springs. Gatorland. Spring Training. All kind of wonderful places. Bach Tower. There are a lot of wonderful places that I've been to. Check out this place. Tourist Recreation Midget City. I'm not familiar with that one. i got to do some research about that particular place. They have some awesome trees they've actually built. We're actually inside a building. There's trees they've created. This place is very magical. But on the other side of this room is the... Oh, let me show you this. Should we show them this first? Sure, yeah. Show them this. This is actually a really awesome model of Central Florida. Look at this, right here. Old school Walt Disney World. There's the castle. There's the old MGM Mouse Ears. Orlando International Airport. There's Gatorland. I'm gonna be quiet for a minute and just let you soak in this environment. A little moment of quietness. Old school Orlando map. You know what you should do, Scott? You should light up some of the stuff. Sure, you, I can do that. What are you going to light up for us? Well, I'll do the... Uh... I'll show you all the tourist attractions here. Or not. Hold on, let me find it. Let me find it. I'm going around. I'm going to find it. It's really cool. They got all these electrical buttons that you can push, and it actually lights up some of the areas. I think the touristy stuff might actually be. There's some stuff right there. Some of the old tourist stuff. Like you see, Gatorland. There's Gatorland, yep. Um, ah, over there's the Citrus Tower. Citrus Light it up. Tower. It's lit up. It's happening right now. Uh, oh, look at this. You know what those water slides are from right there? That's the old river country. Oh, and what is this? What is that pink line that you just lit up? I think that's international. No, no, that's I-4, Interstate 4, which runs from the coastline over there through Orlando and then into Kissimmee where we have Walt Disney World. I-4. Some more of 192, which was... Highway 192. As you can see, there's a Bell's Outlet 
Discount World, and then it, apparently 192 almost goes really close to Universal Studios on this map. Which I, yeah, that's a little bit off. Yeah, it's just a couple. But it's still pretty awesome the way they have all this constructed. Come over here and look at all these places that uh, are on 192. Uh, really popular to check out. Since, you know, and that's all you, right? Oh, yeah, look at these. Water Mania, gone. Arabian Nights, gone. Haunted Mansion, the non-Disney version, gone. Jungle Land Zoo, gone. Cypress Island, not sure what that is, but I think that's gone. The only thing left on this list that's still open is Medieval Times. I went there with you. You did get, we did go there to go. Oh, look at this. World of Orchids, closed. Splendid China, closed. But one thing that is still here and still relevant Walt Disney World, Magic Kingdom, Epcot. Wait, do it again, do it again. Wait a second, Shh, hold on. Hold, turn the light off. Turn the light, leave it, turn the light off. Okay, hold on a second. But there is one thing in Central Florida that is still relevant as always. Shunk -a -gunk -a -gunk -a -gunk. Walt Disney World. All right, enough, enough of that. That was, that was a spectacular display. And also, Universal Studios, they're catching up with Walt Disney World. First, there was just the irregular Universal Studios. Then they built CityWalk, then Islands of Adventure. And now they're merging together. I heard a rumor, you might know about this, that eventually it's going to be a one-day ticket and you get into both parks. So there's not going to be two parks. Have you heard any rumors well, about I, that? Well, I can't say anything that I've heard about that, but I can say that they're, they're trying to lead you towards heard it, that You way. heard it here. Well, I mean, like they, they they want a want to buy a one day park, a park to yes, park. Yes. So you can do both Harry Potters. Exactly. Harry the day Potters. will come when Universal will be all intertwined together. But that's a way to lose money. Just like I, I don't know, I don't know. One thing I also don't know about are these two guys working on heavy machinery shirtless. I think his pants are trying to eat the rest of his body. Uh, obviously, <laughs> this is this is Michael J. Fox, 1985. Back to the Future style. He had his pants up very high in the 80s. You, you this know, guy Lucy, is just like me, stuck in the 80s. What's that? In I Love Lucy, Fred, uh, the, the, the guy who lives upstairs, his pants are all the way up here, too. Right. This could be Fred from I Love Lucy. Could very well be. Working on That's just how people wore them back there. People are actually starting to wear their pants lower. Some people wear them way too low. I am one of those people, but there are people who have me beat on how low they wear their pants. This guy... Completely confused. That is confusion. If I've ever seen it. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty, the end pinnacle area of what this vlog. Oh, you know what you need to do? Go over there and get in that two cent stamp piece. Look at this. I'm gonna give the, I'm gonna give it away here in a second. Man, you know one thing Scott always tells me. He always says, "One day I hope people know who I am well enough." to where I can have my face planted on a stamp. You know how that's pretty? It's like, like, if I was a little bigger, my head was a little larger, it would fit better. Smash it up against there. You got your dream, Scott. You got your dream. Does anybody even use two cent stamps anymore? What is a two cent stamp? How much does it even cost to send anything? I think it's like 30. Think of how amazing it is 40%. that you can take half a dollar and you can write something. Most people don't know how to write anymore because so they use keyboards. But if you wanted to snail mail something for less than a dollar, you can send something completely across the United States. Mm -hmm. That's how awesome the postal system and postal service is. Was that a point? I didn't. Is. I, didn't, I, didn't. <laughs> I just think about it. When you think about oh, okay. it, it's, a, it's amazing. Okay. It really is amazing. The audio tour 126, which I'm giving you an audio tour. It's probably not correct. And half the stuff I'm telling you is not factual. I am not an expert on tourism. I'm just a fan. That's why I have Scott Yukin with me right there, who's not an expert either. He did not want to divulge Universal Studios secrets. <laughs> so. Maybe the audio tour. Why is this shaped? Like a mouse, a Mickey Mouse, if you will, because we are in the mecca of historical goodness of Walt Disney World. 1971. Remember, October 1971 is when Magic Kingdom opened and everything changed for Central Florida for the better if you're a fan of touristy spots.
people started coming in, influxing in, tons and tons of tourists and locals, jobs were created, all thanks to this place right here, the Magic Kingdom. The second incarnation of Disney, Parks the First, Disneyland out in Anaheim, California. Walt had a dream that he wanted more land, so he bought acres and acres and acres and acres and acres, tons and tons of land here in Central Florida, way more than Disneyland, and created an empire. And it started with the central point right here at Magic Kingdom. In fact, there's the sign. Remember, opening October 1971. So that's a recreation of that. Something you want to show us? Oh, yeah, sure. We went here yesterday, the old Church Street Station. Ah, yes. Remember yesterday's vlog that Scott was with me? We actually went to the Church Street Station. There's an old photo of Church Street Station it back look in the that day. Much different. It really does not, except very rarely do we have old cars out there, and the balloon Blocky. is gone, and there's not guys dressed as clowns out there. Look at this, just anymore. to fly or die. They had to either get with the times and make it kid family friendly or you're not going to make it disney or die very so interesting like i think that's die. a good thing bringing everything back to some family values not that there weren't family values in florida before someone but disney one, brought in die though that's, that's that's a little that's a little crazy and this is crazy too oh man the mad hatter dancing down main street look at these old characters Big head. this kid's tipping the hat hey tipping the hat to us i've never actually seen a Mickey Mouse set of ears that's that color anymore. That's old school. And I think this crane actually symbolizes, I could be wrong, help me with this, Scott. Yes. Do you think this crane actually symbolizes the top of the castle? When they were putting the top of the castle on top of Cinderella's castle? Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a striking visual object. This is the cremation, cremation. Not fin cremation. Finishing of the of a, a landmark that was going to be one of the biggest things in Central Florida and put when it, like. Did you really say it. cremation? I did. You're talking about Walt Disney. A lot of people say Walt Disney is frozen. They are incorrect. He's actually buried at Forest Lawn Cemetery out in Los Angeles. He was actually cremated, hey. and his grave is actually there. So you were correct in the cremation. Walt is not frozen. That's a weird urban legend that is not true. Walt's grave, I've actually been to Walt's grave. It's very awesome to go pay your respects to him while you're in Los Angeles. And check this out. It's a monorail Old segment. school, the Grand Floridian. There's the monorail. Epcot. Like through Epcot? Yeah, that's not correct. It goes around the outside, but it's still pretty similar. Yeah. Originally opened as Epcot Center. Now they just call it Epcot. It's all one word and all in caps. It's Epcot! Right, very loud. Just like you just showed. Oh, look at this. Here's a drawing. Wow, I'm not really sure what that. Um, obviously, this is maybe a spaceship Earth. Well, this was actually drawn by Walt Disney himself, so therefore. No, it's, it was. It's, it was done oh, by. Oh, look at this. 1966. Shortly before he actually passed away, drew this drawing of what Epcot would look like. I'm guessing this is probably the more the monorail was transportation ticket center maybe and then you went through around spaceship earth of course it's a lot different i think this is just for well, like disney world we want this is a grand master plan not everything happened the way right it's that was just his original incarnation his dream his passion There's if you will maybe yeah okay yeah you're going through that way and there's the contemporary one of my favorite hotels out at Walt Disney World. That's actually cool too. The Disney's Contemporary Resort Transportation Ticket Center there. there touch the wand over here. Okay, yeah. Touch the wand. Ow. Touch the wand again. There it goes. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. To build a better mousetrap. I'm guessing the, oh, oh, the mousetrap worked. Remember, this is before Disney. BB. So this is basically an instructional video we on the history the of the area with Walt. Not an instructional video, but an informative, informative. informative video. There's a lot of, oh, I need this. 
Nothing better than a good back scratcher. From old Mickey Mouse I himself. I actually have that back scratcher. I don't know where it is, but somewhere in my possessions I own that. I've actually had Mickey Mouse scratch my back several times. Snow globe there. It's a little orange. It's probably old, so. So there you have it. Some cool mementos of Disney history, Universal history. Where's Universal? Oh, well, other thing we've been talking oh, yes. about Universal. I like the small world thing. It's cool. Oh, look at that. Polynesian village. So very cool. Gonna let you guys go. You know where we should end this? We should end this back at the clock, which probably, I'm gonna guess, is still stuck on 12.05. Place your bets, if I am correct, is the clock set on 12.05? Still, the answer is clear. Did you plug your channel? Oh, yesterday, yeah, I did. yesterday, no, I forgot to tell you. No, I did, you did that earlier. We so, did. go watch the video, do it again. Oh, my, my channel is You Can Do It. I'm trying to go to Japan. I, I know that sounds crazy. Eventually, he's going to be in there. Japan. If you go there, I'm going to come visit. Yes. How do you spell You Can Do It? But that's Y-U-K-E-N-D-O-I-T. All right, check out his channel. You did a vlog yesterday with, with me. Yes. Are you going to film one today with me? Ah, uh, I don't Probably know. Probably not. Yeah. They can just watch yesterday's from the deep. I don't do it as much hallway. As, as you do. Spending a couple days. With Scott, good to hang out with this guy again. Maybe we'll hang out tomorrow. Two days in a row might be enough. You're probably sick of me yeah. by now. I mean, it's a smell. So we're gonna. Oh, you know what we should do? Where was the one? I mean, let's show him that diorama as you're leaving on the second floor. Well, do you want to go to space before you do that? To space. Oh well, yeah, you go to space. What are you talking about? You can go. You know, Florida's kind of known for the NASA program. Oh, that's true. Do you want to go to space? Either? Where's that downstairs? downstairs What's on this floor? Oh no, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, look at this. Hey, look, it's... Oh, here's what we're talking about, Universal oh, Studios. There it is. Here's a Universal Studios throwback. Here's the trivia question of the day. I'm gonna show you two Universal Studios items, one from the past, one from the present, and see if you can decide which is which and what they are by leaving a comment down below. Number one, Universal Studios of the past. Anybody have any idea what that is? Now Universal Studios of the present. Anyone have any idea what that is? Two Universal Studios, no, no, don't, don't well, tell them. I'm don't not, give uh, it away. Well, that's, that's actually not what the thing you're talking about oh, looks, really? looks like. It's, so I'm incorrect. It's green, but that the ah. ride vehicle actually looks like more something from Bush Gardens. So what am I, gone. oh, that's Bush Gardens. It, look, it looks like the scorpion. Am I incorrect? Or not the scorpion, the, the python that's okay. gone now. It's so, kind of, never mind. Black There's and, one thing from Universal just, Studios. So what do you think this is? I, I, don't, I think it's just a, ge a generic roller coaster because it's not the whole based on the, on the ride vehicle that you have here. That guy's having a good time, but it is green, so it could be. Wow, should make a whole movie about that guy right there. My life on this ride has See, been. See, I was thinking, I was thinking this guy was on the Hulk. So this is not the Hulk. It's green, even but, though it's green. But, okay, I'm confused. I thought this was the Hulk. The ride but I'm correct on assuming that that is something. That is something from old school Universal Studios, pre. Islands of Adventure? Yes, pre-Islands of pre Adventure. Pre-Islands, soon to be one whole scene. That's not, Start of the room. <laughs> that's not true at all. That's not true. I'm not, I'm, I can never confirm or deny that, but I can pretty much say it's not true at all. All right, so are we done here? Are we completed? Are we finished? Wait, the space program yeah, you were talking about. Where's the space stuff? One more down. We gotta go down on the floorboard? Oh, you know what? This was a cool haunted house you were showing me too. A Lego haunted house. Very, this is actually a really cool place. If you come here, pay the 10 or $12 to get in. Tell them Adam the Woo and Scott, you can do it since you here. 
because they, I love it when people visit places that I show in the vlogs, and they say, I didn't know about this place until I saw it on Adam's Is that blog. The, the bears, the polar bears from Maelstrom? They're not. I just, I just want no, to no, surprise no. you. You know? did get me very excited. Yeah, very. About if those were the bears Barry. from Maelstrom, mm -hmm. I would soil myself with excitement right now, as everybody else would as well. Because they're gone, and they're not there anymore. They're, they're changing the whole thing to... Airedale? That is not them. That is completely different. That one's actually taller and it has his hands up in the air. Whoa. By the way, you are now actually a part of the longest daily room vlog mm. ever. We're 45, almost 46 minutes in. Is anybody still watching this vlog? That's what we want to know. Leave a comment if you're still watching the longest daily woo vlog to date. We're going to end you with the space program here in Orlando. What's the name of this place again? Uh, the Orange County Regional History Center. Yes! Excellent. They probably have a Facebook, and if they do, post this on their Facebook page. Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, people definitely need to get a hold of Tom Green. Oh, yeah. yeah that Tom seems Green. like an eternity ago. I think, I think Almost 45 minutes ago. But look at this. The NASA program, which, of course, has a station here in Florida. What, what area of Florida is it? That would be on the East Coast. coast. The Space Coast. Of Space Coast. Yeah. Is the best coast. Yeah. Some say. Some people on the West Coast would say that's the best one. But NASA has all this stuff in an awesome place, which hopefully one day I can do a video from NASA itself. But look at this. You want to get inside there? Oh, you want me to go in here? Get in there. Okay. There's a keyboard. I... Uh, is there a mouse? No. Oh, look at the name. Space and no, Scott, Scott, Scott Space. It says Scott's. Did you type that in no, there? I didn't. It was there. It says Scott's Space Invaders. Oh my goodness. Rewind that. It actually said Scott's Space Invaders. You're Scott. That's me. And you're playing Space, space Invaders. In, in a space capsule, more or less. I feel like I'm going to go to the moon and back. And come back. You know what's trash? You know there's a photograph left on the moon? It's yeah. in plastic, yeah, there's a, there's a photo of one of the astronauts' family. I don't know the whole story about it, but there's actually a photo left on the moon. It's kind of interesting. I wonder if they have a plastic barrier over it to protect it, kind of like Ted Bundy's autograph. What if Ted Bundy went to the moon? Now that is an interesting point. All right, it's time to go. Say goodbye. Got I like speed. how you did the salute. Oh, well, I'm in space. Fun. You have to. Yeah. I should salute, too. Goodbye. Have a great day. See you guys tomorrow. Later.